So I love all things organized and I absolutely love organization when I can do it on the cheap. So I'm super excited to show you in this video, I just redid a ton of our RV organization and storage, all with products from the Dollar Tree. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned. Hi, my name is Charity, and if you're new here to the channel, well, we are all about RVing, family travel, and having fun along the way. We've been RVing for five years now and have been to a lot of places, learned a lot of things, some of them the hard way, had some great food along the way. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified every time that we release a new video. So in this video, I just reorganized a bunch of stuff in the RV. I'm gonna share all of that with you using mostly products from the Dollar Tree. And I have got a really cool new hack that I learned with a Dollar Tree product that you're definitely gonna want to see. So that'll be a little bit later in the video. So the first thing that I have done this week is just kind of some spring cleaning in a way, cleaning everything out, wiping everything down and reorganizing. And a little tip with RV life is you want to use bins. So using these types of bins in your RV organization and storage really just keep things in place. And like the saying goes, when you fly, contents may have shifted during flight. Well, it's the same on travel days. Keeping things like this in bins, not only just makes it nice, neat and organize, but it also can be a safety issue when you go to open this up after a travel day and you're not getting bombarded with a bunch of things. So I absolutely love these new bins from the Dollar Tree. I am loving these new colors that they have now for spring. I keep all of kind of our snacks in this particular cupboard. We do snack during travel days, like probably most of you do. And this makes it really easy for the kids to just grab a snack while we're on the road. These bins that I found at the Dollar Tree, these are a little bit smaller and I like these because in our particular cupboard setup, they stack two at a time and fit just perfect in the cupboard setup. And then these particular bins, I found these at the Dollar Tree last year, but they do still have them. So these fit perfect things like chips. I've got some bagels in here, just those types of items. So using these types of bins in cupboard spaces is definitely your friend. And hey, for $1.25, you can pick up several of them. Now Dollar Tree has all sorts of different types of bins and storage containers. So these little wood bins I actually found in the crafters square section of the Dollar Tree in the area that we're in right now. And so I picked up several of these because I've got this junk drawer down here that needs some major help. And so between this little snap container and these wood containers, we're gonna come up with kind of a DIY junk drawer solution to help this drawer out. So I am super happy with how this little drawer DIY organization worked out. We had a lot of miscellaneous screws and stuff like that. We do keep smaller screws if we take something out of the RV because they can come in really handy if you need to make a repair on the fly. So we like to keep those around. That way too, like if they're in another container, I've just seen, especially like on travel days, they wanna fly out and then they're all over the drawer again. So this one with the click down lid is gonna keep them nice and secure on travel days. So this container, it was actually too tall and then the drawer didn't want to close because this is a pretty shallow drawer. So I actually have got another idea of a place that I think I'm gonna be able to use this on the RV. So we'll do that in just a little bit, but I'm super happy with how this turned out. A thing that's brand new at the Dollar Tree right now are these bins that have these handles on them. Now I picked some of these up because I wanted to use these in the fridge. Now part of the reason I wanted to use this type of bin in the fridge is because they have the holes in them and with an RV fridge, especially if you have an absorption style refrigerator, you know that airflow is pretty important to be able to just make sure that the fridge is actually keeping food cold. So I just figured out four of these 
fit perfect in my fridge. And then it's super easy when you want to get something out of the fridge, you can just pull the handle and get the bin out very easily and then put it back in and it keeps things nice and organized, especially on those travel days. So the next thing that I picked up at Dollar Tree is these fruit and veggie storage. Now, this is nice because they have a lid that locks and then this comes out. So basically your like fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, it stays fresher longer because it's not sitting in moisture or anything, but I'm gonna take it a step further because I did learn this little hack from a fellow RVer that if you use a paper towel in your containers with your fruits and vegetables, that it helps to keep the moisture away from them. And so they do stay fresher and crisper longer. So we're going to do that. So I'm gonna throw some grapes in here and throw throw these in the fridge. So a lot of people have been asking and leaving comments on some of our videos asking about shoe storage and what do we do for shoe storage. So extra shoes we keep in the closet, but our everyday shoes, we have a large bin from Ikea. And then that way as we're coming in from outside of the RV, we can just kick them off into the bin before we come in the RV. And as we are headed out the door, we can pull them out of the bin right by the door and throw our shoes on when we're headed out. I just learned something brand new about how you're supposed to install a liner in the trash can. Did you know about this? I did not. If you were gonna install a liner in the trash can, you would probably like unfold it like this, right? Yep. And then you would open this up and you would do this. Yeah. Right, and you'd put it in the trash can. Yep. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Did you know this? I just learned this for the first time. So actually what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to take your trash can liner like this, right? And then you take this and you wrap it around your trash can. And then you push this down inside because look at this. The what? seams of the bag now are inside the trash can liner and it's supposed to fit better this way too. And so then you don't have like on this, the seams are on the outside and then this, the seams are on the inside. So it fits better. And then there's like less chance of leaks and stuff. So there is a hack that I found out about that is blowing my mind. And I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Now, since we're talking about things to make RV life easier, we do have to share about one huge thing we did to make RV life more comfortable. And that is by upgrading our mattress. For whatever reason, we found most of the factory mattresses and RVs are not the most comfortable. We ended up choosing a mattress from RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Part of the reason we did that is because their mattresses are made right here in the US and ship conveniently to you for free. Now we went with the Aurora Lux hybrid mattress and it's been great having a mattress that feels like a real bed and not an RV bed. And since they offer different firmness options, heights, dimensions, RVmattress.com is a great resource for bedding needs for RVs, vans, campers, and even home. In fact, we were sleeping so well in our RV that we got another mattress for RVmattress.com for our home base glamper hideaway. Their mattresses come in three firmness options and have a 120 sleep night guarantee. The process to have it shipped to us was super simple and then get it into the RV because their mattresses come rolled up in a box and wrapped in plastic. So when our mattress arrived, we hoisted it in the RV. Now they are heavy, it's a two person job. Unwrap the plastic and then it poofed right up. All their mattresses come with a 10 year warranty. So we are set for a very long time. One of the things we really want to do is to be a resource for you and the RV community. So we do take time to share about products we really love and use ourselves. So we've partnered with RVmattress.com for 20% off for our viewers. If you're looking for a new mattress, check out RVmattress.com. You can click the link below or go to RVmattress.com forward slash grateful and get 20% off with the code grateful. 
So I love these baskets. This is basket time at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use this for some fruit on the counter, but another way that you could use this too is in a bathroom, either in your RV or even in a house setting and roll up your hand towels or your washcloths and put this in your bathroom too. It just looks so cute and decorative. If you're on Instagram, make sure that you're following us over there. We post a ton of tips, tricks, travel hacks, and stories of some fun places to visit. So you wanna make sure that you check us out over on Instagram. So a thing from the Dollar Tree that I love are these types of bins. So how I use these types of bins in the kitchen organizing is I keep all of my spices in one of these types of bins. This makes it really easy when you're cooking to just pull this whole container out and set it on the counter and you've got all of the spices that you need. And then I use one that's a little bit smaller for things like my chili seasoning or my taco seasoning. And then these fit just right behind where I keep all of the silverware in our storage right underneath of the induction tops. So a quick organizing tip with RVs and just tiny living small spaces in general is to make sure you're using every inch of space that you have available to you. So one of the things that I've done in this particular cupboard is I have used things like these wire shelf racks or this particular plate organizer. These things I've picked up over the years at Lowe's. Sometimes you can find stuff like this at the Dollar Tree, Amazon for sure, and I can leave some links in the description below. But making sure that you're using every bit of space from top to bottom, especially when it comes to cabinets, there can be a lot of wasted space sometimes, and that wasted space means that you're not making the best use of that space. Putting some extra things in here to create some extra extra organizational layers to be able to make use of all of the space that you can. One of the things that we do use sometimes with RV life is a toiletry bag. Lots of reasons to use a toiletry bag even with RV living, but if you want to use or maybe sometimes use the bathhouse or the shower house at a campground, it's super convenient to have all of your things in here that you can just quickly go over to the shower house and come back. Or if you're doing any type of travel where maybe you are leaving the RV, where maybe you go on a cruise or you fly a occasionally having a toiletry bag is very, very nice. We were recently introduced to these toiletry bags from our friends over at Venture Forth. Now we've been using the Venture Forth microfiber towels in our RV for years now and love them. So when I saw that they came out with a new product, I had to jump on this and check it out and I'm loving it because Ben likes to use the shower house so he's got all of his stuff in here, but these also work great to kind of have a travel day bag for the kids with all the kids activities. So in my daughter's bag, she's got her notebook, she's got her pens and pencils, and she's got her bracelet making kit and it hangs up super nice and convenient all in one spot and then it's not all over the RV. So a great way to stay organized with these particular toiletry bags, I'll have a link in the description below. So Dollar Tree has this style of bin out right now and you definitely wanna pick some of these up. These are actually really sturdy, heavy duty plastic and these are not gonna break on you. So it's the Sterilite brand, which is a pretty good brand as far as durability goes. Now I use one of these in our RV to keep just miscellaneous like charging cords and things like that. So the kids can plug in their phones here if they need to or we just keep extra little miscellaneous US B cables, stuff like that for chargers. And then this sits really nice just back on our counter, back and out of the way, but it's near a outlet. So things can get plugged in and then this is kind of just like a little charging station. This is one of my favorite Dollar Tree items and this is just an over the cabinet towel bar. I've used this a couple of different ways and we've talked about this in some of our videos for using it to hang cleaning supplies or the traditional use of hanging a towel, but I just learned about a new hack for this when it comes to paper towels. So you just pull this apart, which it comes apart pretty easily, and then you actually use this in an upper cabinet 
with your paper towels and it gets your paper towels up and off of the counter and it's nice and super secure. Another tool that I have used for organizing in the RV kitchen is this expandable bamboo silverware rack. Now, I like this one because it is expandable, which means that you can really customize it to fit a lot of different spaces. So I have got that in this pull out section here that we built last year and we'll have a link up here if you wanna check out some videos on this modification, but this is really nice because you can organize all of your cutlery or extra kitchen tools as well. This I did get on Amazon, so I'll have a link in the description below. So these S hooks I picked up in the garden section of Dollar Tree. I love these because there are so many different ways that you can use these when it comes to storage and organization. But one of my favorite ways is using these to gain some more space in the closet. So I can use this to hang up lots of different things in the closet area. My favorite are things like backpacks or purses because it gets them up off of the floor of the closet. And since they hang a little bit lower than the clothes, it's just making a better use of the closet space. This is back at Dollar Tree. This is actually designed for things like brooms. And we've actually shown you how we've used this in some cases other than brooms. And I will have a video series at the end of this one where you can see some other ways we've used this. But I've got another way to be able to use this for organizing that I know you're gonna love. So we are gonna actually hang this inside of the cabinet door. You can use this to actually hang all of your cleaning supplies and your spray bottles. So this gets them up and out of the way in those cabinet spaces, making better use of the space. So I went to go put this in our cabinet and I realized that the way our cabinet is shaped, the only way I could really do this and have it be secure would be to screw it in, which I don't wanna do. So I'm actually going to mount it just inside of the cupboard still, still use it the way that I want to use it, but I'm not gonna actually use it on the cabinet door. So how we're gonna make this work is we're gonna actually pull these rubber pieces out and then just hang our spray bottles right on the rubber piece, just like this. So these are some of my favorite containers that are available at the Dollar Tree, $1.25 and the lids snap and lock into place. And so I have been using these for storage of a lot of our dry goods. So things like pasta, rice, cereal, these work great for, and since they're a little bit on the smaller side, they're like the perfect size for RV cabinets, just small living in general. So definitely if you're at Dollar Tree, pick some of these up. Since this wouldn't fit in the place that I kind of was originally thinking, I've got another place that I know is gonna work great. And that is this whole little area that I keep next to my nightstand. It's gotten a little bit messy. I have these boxes that I got from Hobby Lobby that we've got attached to the wall for things like cell phones and just miscellaneous stuff. And you can see it's accumulated a lot of miscellaneous stuff. So I'm going to use this to help kind of straighten up this mess we've got going on. If you're new, oh, sorry. Genius. All right, so another, whoa, that was probably really loud. <laughs> no clappy clap. You just have a, I don't know how to explain this. Hold on. Cleaning support over there, we pull, bleh. Okay, hold on. This is where I don't shine. Hold on, let me start it up and end. Sorry, hold on, I've messed up. Oh, that's smooth. <laughs> Don't forget the dog treats. Mm -hmm. Did you put them in there, dog treats? I want my greenies. What? Who said greenies? 
So you'll have to let me know in the comments below which hack was your favorite. I would love to hear from you. I'm gonna put a playlist right up here with all sorts of more RV organization storage hacks ideas that I know you're going to love. And then you can check out our blog over here where we've got even more great information. If we don't see you around the campground or out on the road, we'll see you in the next video.